We brought the day camp. We're talking about they want to make me a grinder. Wait, excuse me? Hello everyone! So I don't know how well this is going to be because my camera is about to die. But we're going to just try to get through this. Today we're going to do a quick mukbang. And I'm here with my sister Vanessa. A.K.A. by Vaisha TV. Go check out her channel. And today we have Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, so let's just get into it. Um, so... You guys may or may not know about this because we haven't done YouTube for like a very long time. And so, um, we actually have been on keto. Joey has been on keto for like four months. And I've been on keto for three months. Um, and so yeah, so a lot of times like once a week we always eat Buffalo Wild Wings. And today our plans, like we went to a party but there wasn't really nothing that we could eat. So, you know, and plus we haven't seen each other for a long time because of other oh, stuff, you know. That we'll get into. So that actually ended a lot quicker than I was expecting. So yes, as Vanessa mentioned before, we are both on keto, which I haven't actually talked about on this channel. Mm -hmm. I re started recording like my journey, but like literally the first day and then I just never did it mm -hmm. because my original plan was to just take pictures of my food and then do a voiceover like okay so first my first week i did this second week i did this mm -hmm. but yeah i just forgot about it and now it's just part of my daily life so i lost about 54 pounds mm -hmm. um almost 55 mm -hmm. since the january 7th so mm -hmm. and it showed right away for you and i've lost approximately uh 23 pounds since February 4th and today I believe is May 25th so thank you and for what was some like the first thing that you had noticed because I feel like everyone noticed but you and I feel like still to this day you still like, can't like see it like, you know yeah I don't like okay low-key I was editing a video from months ago back in like know. December I'm like okay I do look more chunky you know what I mean but like 55 pounds I do not believe mm. I would say the first thing I noticed would be, like, not being as tired on my feet. Because mm -hmm. I would be on my feet all day on my old job, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just noticed, like, I, like, I didn't need to take a break, you know? Like, I, I would make it through a day without desperately needing a break, without fl flopping over, falling, you know? But that's the first thing I really noticed. Cute. For me, obviously the first thing I noticed was, like, my boobs were getting smaller. Like, that's definitely the first thing I noticed. And... I would say the second thing that I noticed, but also, like, the first thing, too, was that, like, you know when you would eat food, and then you'd be like, oh, my God, I feel like I'm going to die. Like, my, like, you know, like, my stomach hurts so much. Like, I ate so much. Like, I'm going to die. You know, like, I can't eat for another 12 hours. You know, that feeling. Like, you just don't feel that anymore. Like, sometimes, you know, but you just don't. Like, you feel like, oh, okay, like, I'm done eating. Like, I'm good. You know? Mm hmm so I definitely noticed that right away, too. I guess this can be kind of my update video. Okay, so. I know I was going to say, I know I said I'm not going to do one. But, I mean, here it is. My update is this. Remember that job that I was talking to you months ago back in my update video? But basically, but basically I'm hoping, hoping to, get to get out of this place that I'm at right now. I finally mother effing quit. I'm so Woo! happy. Listen, that job was so toxic. I'm gonna expose main, mainly one person, to be honest. Like the job was toxic or just the people? The people there. Like, I'm like, don't get me wrong. Like, I know like, it's not the hardest job in the world, but like for my first job ever, mm -hmm. it was like freaking hard, you know? Like, I don't blame people that worked there for less than six months. And then. Plus, like, like we said earlier that they had you work a lot. And so, like, you'd get, like, random days off and mm -hmm. stuff. And we both really, I don't know about you, but we both really wanted to, like, record together. And so, like, we never, like, was able to work together. And luckily, I have a job where I work Monday through Friday. And so, like, from now that you work Monday through Friday now, it's going to be, like, better, mm -hmm. you know? So. Yeah. Well, well like, because my old job, I always get the hours that nobody wants. Mm. So, like, 
and it was so weird because okay, when I first started, I wanted to be weekends and mornings, right? And really? then, yeah, because okay, well, I had school, right? Oh. And after school, I wanted weekdays and mornings, you know? But no, I got weekdays and weekends nights. So, like, and the only mornings I would get was the mornings where the boss wasn't there and because she never trusted anyone else upset with me, so. I don't trust anybody else. Or, it just really made, she really made me angry just because, like, she would choose like what hours she wanted to work and it was always like times when you guys weren't busy mm -hmm. like she would make you work the days like the weekends at you know at night or like friday nights you know what i mean the days where you guys are more gonna be busy you know most busy like when she worked she'd have like two or three other people helping her and so she could do whatever she wanted but yet like you were working by yourself sometimes you know plus i feel like Everybody walked all over you. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was kind of like, oh, we don't want to do all this stuff, so we're just going to have Joey do it. And then when he doesn't do it right, we're going to, like, yell at him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they gave him, like, long hours, like, from noon to 10 p.m. But, yeah, everybody else got to work, like, 5 to 10 or something. Mm, 5 to 10 or, like... Eight to two, you know. Mhm. Mm Annoying. But and for Reno, just how someone in particular was. There's just some people that will walk over you and be mean, as long as like you don't like stop it, you know. Mhm. Mm and like, to be honest, like there were people that were there that were really nice and like. I actually really like, but I would not consider any of them my, my actual friends. You know what I mean? Like, right. they're not somebody that you would, like, right now, text and be like, hey, how are you? Like, let's hang out or something. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, one who quit before me, and she tries to text me. And, like, I do, like, you know, text back, like, oh, I'm doing good, honey, how uh -huh. are you? But other than that, like, there's nothing, like... No substance, no complications. There's nothing like deeper than like, mm. oh hi, how are you? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What? So yeah, I got rid of my freaking toxic job, and you know what's kind of messed up? Okay, so I get it. Cause like, okay, so I'm not gonna tell you the whole details, but this is what basically went down. I applied for this camp job months ago. Kind of forgot about it, but then I'm like, oh, camp's coming up. So I emailed the people. And then they told me that something happened to my application where it got lost or whatever. But they decided to give me an interview. <laughs> Excuse me. And then, like, two days later, they offered me the job. But the job started five days after that. So I was only able to give my old job five days notice. We're pissed. I'm like... Which, like, I understand because you told multiple times that you wouldn't do that. And you, saw it, and you also said that you would give two weeks notice. You know what I mean? Like, that was important to you. You know what I mean? So, like, I understand why they're upset, you know? But, I mean, you had to do it what best for yourself. Mm -hmm. Not like your new job. Mm -hmm. So, my new job isn't a job that I would think I would ever, like, work. I'm going to be working at um, a camp. And, so... But I used to be... I used to go to this camp when, I, when we were children. Like, we used to go to the camp. So now I'm old enough to be a counselor at this camp. It's amazing. It's going to be all summer long. And, you know, I'm excited, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I am, of course, nervous working with children. Mm -hmm. But, like, other than that, like, I'm just, like, ready to have, like, like, be, like, one of the, like, be, like, a counselor that I, like, look up to. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was a kid, you know, I want to be a counselor that I can, like, look up to. Or even, um, like, a child who maybe not fit when? into, like, fit in or, like, fit into, like, there may be like their sexuality and they don't know or like they don't they feel weird or different you know mm -hmm. and being able to like look up to you not that you're weird or different but like just you know have someone that like even if they may not feel comfortable talking to you directly that they know that at least you're there yeah what one thing you're looking forward to this sounds really strange but i'm just like looking forward to like seeing the sounds on the bus you know and, like, <laughs> and the sound later be like Ready? Okay.
Oh, also, I do want to add. So, if you guys saw my, like, 50 things about me, you did hear me say that I haven't had pop since, like, December 29th or 2017 or something like that. Well, that broke because somebody had forced me to drink pop again. So, I mean, I've been trying to stop. I was so proud of myself, but... And he, you said, like, it was funny because, like, you did feel bad that I started drinking pop again. So, yeah. So, that's why, in case any of you guys are going to come at me and be like, you said you had a drinking pop. Like, I know. And that was so true. But hopefully I start over again. Like, I'm hoping maybe, like... No, I don't want to say... I don't want to say, like, New Year's again. But maybe, like in the middle of the year like in july or something you know or june you know july 1st july 1st or something you know well we bought shag race so mm -hmm. i think personally evie should win okay so my order would have to be evie brooke akiria and then silky in my order even though that akiria is my player can we all pick players uh, i'll break down who each player is who right here um, so even though that career, even though that Akaria is my player, I still want Evie to win. What about you? Well, I don't I I have Silky. And obviously like okay, I know like you shouldn't be judging someone based off like camera or like you know what I mean, because they have edits and stuff. But I don't know, like sometimes I just feel like she's just so full of herself. Sometimes I'm just like kinda of rude. I mean it's whatever, but even though Silky is my player, like, I want Evie to win. And I love Evie. Like, I've loved her since, like, the beginning. Well, mm -hmm. of this season. Mm. So, that's my thoughts on subject. Okay, thoughts about Survivor. Thoughts on Survivor. Okay, so listen. I think... I'm trying... Okay, this is very hard. Okay, so I'm very conflicted. Because... Okay, so I'll show you the players for everyone's Survivor. It's not. It's a lot and, of editing. I, I know. Okay. It's not really. I'm just going to write 10 minutes. I'm going to be funny. So, I am happy that my player won. You, I was team... I, I, I said for my players, I was team Rick Devins. Because he was doing really well. Up until the finale, then it looked like he was trying to get the freaking... I can't remember his name, but... Cowboy from last season. He was, like, in the military, and he won... That makes sense. Uh -huh. Where like, he, okay, he would use his idol, but magically in the next scene he would find another idol, but no, like in a very obvious place that no one looked. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And like, I feel like, okay, let's be honest, it's TV. Like, there's there's a chance that like the producers could have like done something to like, oh, right. we're gonna put the idol here on just for him. Make it easier for him. Yeah, but there's no way to get him out basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I know what you want to know. So, the fact that, like, okay, this guy, he already run an idol, then he got to the beach, won another idol, and I think he got, he, then he got another idol. So, I'm not always pissed. I'm like, wow, like, he, this guy's just gonna freaking pull the, I think Ben, this guy's gonna pull another freaking Ben and just walk his way to the finale, maybe helped by the producers, I don't know. But then, when Chris came back in the game, and he only had, what, a few days to play, but he did that, he did the freaking most with his freaking time there. And not only that, but he took a giant risk, which when I, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, this is so stupid. You're going to lose. You're going to go back to the freaking island or jury and whatnot. But he won, and he took out Rick Devins. I mean, that's a pretty good big move, you know. So, like, I don't know. Like, I understand why people would want Gavin to win. And he was my player, too, so like, don't get me wrong. But, like, he was just kind of, like, a floater, too. You know, like, mm -hmm. both him and the girl were floaters. What about you? What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't remember, like, Gavin, like, changing a conversation, <laughs> you know, or, like, changing a vote or persuading somebody, you know what I mean? But no one ever wanted to put Gavin up or have Gavin leave, you know what I mean? So that, like, says a lot, you know? Um, um I really wanted, like, Aubrey to come back and to win, because I love Aubrey, like, I don't know, I just love her so much. Like, especially the fact, like, in the beginning, she was, like, worried and, like, was un un and was unsure of herself of how to play the game or if she could play the game and her capabilities. But, like, when she's like, no, like, 
I can do this, and then she started, like, going for it more, you know? Mm. Yeah. Um, any, oh, so you're just going to be working this summer, right? Do we, do you have any fun summer videos that you're wanting to do? I don't. Yeah, I have nothing to do with anything. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Remember on the day camp? Grandma, they want to make me a grinder. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted to do my sister makes my grinder. I do. Well, then they better back off. Or my best friend makes my grinder. Ah, <gasps> me? Aww. Equal, not you. No, how about my si How about this? Your sister makes you a grinder. Your best friend makes you a grinder, and then you choose which one you like. And then that's the one that you keep. Sure. Okay. Equal, it's on. <laughs> okay, so I think we're done here. I ate all my mother effing food, and I said did not. She no, I still have like four. Ooh, wait. Is that three, four, five, five weeks? Ooh. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. And I'll see you all again next time. Love you. Are you kidding me? My battery's gonna die. Don't you have like a 10 billion batteries? Not for the camera, no. Right. But you bought like a memory card. Memory card, but not the battery. Oh, that's true. Um, do you wanna just go ahead and start eating? Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, by the way, I'm like Trisha painting in this. I'm gonna try not to edit this as much as I can. I mean, you're the one editing it. Like maybe, what about if you put the lid underneath, like in your bucket lid? For what? For the bottom, the bottom to lift it up. Like, see the lid over there? Go get it. Please. Anyway, so you're gonna Trisha pay test this. Yes, I'm gonna try to edit this as little as possible, which I mean, who knows how that's gonna f*** out. You know how that worked out. <laughs> so. Are you gonna do one long thing or are you gonna pause it? I'm gonna pause it now. So just in case, like, there is a time where we don't have it. No, from months ago, like, uh -huh. back from. December? December. You only have what? One wing left. Oh. Yeah. You still have chicken on this. <laughs> Listen, honey. I think freaking Manila's Lujan was freaking robbed, okay? That's all we You know who I think was robbed, but they did it to themselves? Vanilla Creme. Mm. But don't look at She's like, ow, I'm out done with this. Bull. She's like, I am I'm my type of winner. <laughs> Thanks for letting me be my kind of winner. I had a real good time. I love her. In and out of drag. Um, I was gonna do an update video, but I'm like, why? Like, there's no point.